welcome to Poisson probability distribution. Uh, from the previous distribution, we looked at binomial distribution and we gave the conditions that are suitable for the use of uh, binomial distribution. Today, we are looking at another distribution referred to as the Poisson probability distribution. A Poisson probability distribution is a discrete probability distribution. Remember what we said by discrete random variables. Discrete random variables, basically those are random variables which can only assume exact values called integers. Unlike their continuous counterparts, which can take any value in a given interval. Now, the Poisson distribution is used to model the number of events. This is very, very important. Model the number of events occurring within a given time interval. Number of events occurring within a given time interval. For example, the number of people arriving at a bank per hour. So the number of people arriving at a bank is a random variable. If you stand at a bank, at any given hour, you will see that the number of arrivals will keep on changing. So if, for example, in the first hour, maybe for 10 people arrives, in the next hour, they could be 20, they could be so changing within a given time interval. In this case, the time interval is one hour and the number of events occurring is the arrival of people. The Poisson distribution is attributed to the French mathematician, French mathematician, engineer and physicist who made many scientific advances and so the name Poisson is actually given in honor of him, Simeon Dennis Poisson. Now, with me here, I have a simple example, Poisson distribution application example. So I Consider the following. We record the number of patients admitted at a state hospital or Shakati State Hospital per day. This is very, very important. So day one, we get 15. Day two, seven. Day three, we get 20. Day four, we get and so forth. Now, we can actually get the average. That is the mean of these arrivals. Mean of these arrivals. In this case, now, to calculate the mean of the arrivals, we just say, what is the total sum over the number of days in which observations were made? So in this case, we, we made observations over a seven-year period, and we just add this, we get 8.4 per day. So in other words, on average, there are 8.4 people arriving. But because we know a discrete random variable can only uh, be exact, so we round this to approximately eight people per day. Now, this eight people per day in the Poisson language is what we denote as lambda. Lambda, we write it like that. Or simply mu. Or simply mu in some text, you see that they will use mu instead of lambda. So we can define our random variable x as the average of people admitted to the hospital and this average is denoted lambda. This is exactly what I was saying, or mu. Now, what are the conditions to apply the Poisson probability distribution? Remember the conditions for the binomial that we must have a finite number of trials. And in each given trial, we have exactly two possible outcomes, one which we call a success and the other one which we call a failure with no probability of occurrence. In this case, things change slightly. The random variable x must be discrete. Yes, this is true. This is true even for binomial similar to binomial in this case because they are all used to model um, uh, this is true for binomial as well so the occurrence are random in other words you see we we, we don't have uh, the number of people arriving at the bank we don't necessarily need to have a constant number it's it has to be a random process so the occurrence are independent. This is very important. The occurrence must be independent. The arrivals must be independent. The average occurrence of the random variable is known, yes? It is known in a specified time. What is the average number of 
occurrence in an hour, in a second, in a day, in a week, in a year, and so forth. So, in other words, the word average is very, very important for the Poisson. Whenever you, we are to apply Poisson, you will always see the word average appearing or the expected number. This average or expected number. This is the key term because we need to know the average occurrence in a given time limit. Now, examples where Poisson probability distribution can be applied, the number of accidents that occur on a given highway, you can see the number of accidents is a random variable. Given highway is the time limit. The number of customers entering a shop in a given hour, this could be in a given in a given minute and so forth. The number of farmers with a good harvest in a given year. You can see all this then, we can apply Poisson. Now, the Poisson distribution probability distribution formula, this is the, the, this is the formula that we use to generate probabilities. Let X be the number, the average occurrence of some events in a specified time interval. Then we can write X follows Poisson with parameter lambda. Now, probability that x is equal to a certain number r is just lambda to the power r, e to the power minus lambda over r factorial, and this r can be zero up to infinity. So in other words, the, we can say what is the probability that two people will arrive in a bank per hour. So our r becomes two. So we just substitute in the formula. And I want you to take note that lambda is the average occurrence the average arrivals that we are given and e is the mathematics constant eula constant value given by that one 2.71828 and uh, yeah r can assume any value from zero up to infinity we have a numerical example here that we want to use to illustrate the application of the poisson distribution so we are told a computer helpline receives on average two calls every 10 minutes. This helpline could be, for example, um, a, a call center for, for MTC, a call center for T, for telecom, a call center for any bank. So we can actually establish the number of calls that are received in a given time interval. So in this case, we are told that a computer help center receives on average. Like I told you, the word on average is very, very important when it comes to or the expected number in the expected number or on average so in this case we are getting two calls per 10 minutes find the probability that they will receive less than five calls in a 10 minute period this is very very important find the probability that they will receive exactly 12 calls in a 30 minutes period i want you to see the change in the period and also find the probability that they will receive exactly four calls in each of the next exactly four in each of the next three ten minutes period now this is the solution the number of calls x this is what we are modeling the number of calls x is approximately poisson because we are told two the average is two in ten minutes so is approximately poisson with an average of two where two is defined over a ten minutes period so what is the probability that the probability that we will receive less than five less than five means zero or one or two or three or four but five is not included less than five unless if we are told less than five less or equal to five but in this case less than five and given the fact that the calls are discrete they cannot be 4.5 or so or 4.9 so it can be 0 1 2 3 up to 4 so this is the same as probability x less than 5 less than 5 means probability x from less than or equal to 4 so x less or equal to 4 means x is equal to 0 plus x equal to 1 plus 2 x equal to 2 plus x equal to 3, plus x equal to 4. I want you to see that we don't include x equal to 5 because it is strictly less than 5. Now, we use this probability density function, this probability distribution function. This is the function 
that will be used to generate probabilities for a Poisson. Now we are given what is lambda, we know E is the Euler function, the constant, and so we are in a position now to find the probabilities. So probability x equal to zero, we just come back to the probability distribution function. Our error is now zero. So we just put in the formula for one, we put in the formula, just check what is changing is R lambda is fixed and E is the same Euler constant. Two changes, you see, R factorial lambda to the R, three R factorial, which is three in this case, because this is for probability X equal to three and so forth. So we put this in a calculator, E to the power minus two, you just put this in a calculator. If you add all this, add all this, we are going to get this. So the probability is 0 0.9492473. Now, find the probability that they will receive exactly 12 calls in a 30 minute period. This is very, very important. 12 calls in a 30 minute period. In 10 minutes, calls are on average two. So 10 minutes, two calls. The other 10 minutes, two calls, they are now four. The last 10 minutes to make 30 minutes, that will be two times three, because we are saying 10, 10, how many, how many 10 minutes are there in 30 minutes? They are actually three, but for every 10 minutes, we are getting two calls. So two times three, which gives us on average, six calls. So X follows a Poisson six on average. Lambda is now equal to six. So this is very, very important. Lambda is now equal to six. If this is very, very important now. Probability exactly 12. We just change our lambda, but we use the same probability distribution function. Probability X equal to 12 is equal to E to the minus, E to the minus lambda, lambda to the R over R factorial. This is the formula. So E to the minus six, Hmm? This is our lambda, minus 6, lambda 6 to the power R, which is 12, over R factorial. Remember, R factorial is, 12 factorial is 12 times 11 times 10 times, and so on up to times 1, and so on. And it is also important to remember that zero factorial is act is the same as one factorial, which is the same as equal to uh, one factorial, which is the same as one. This is very, very important. Zero factorial is equal to one factorial, which is equal to one. So factorial simply means when you say 10 factorial, 10 times nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Now, what, find the probability that they will receive exactly four calls in each of the next three 10 minutes period. So X is still following both by 10 minutes period, we are told X follows a, the average is two calls. So what it means is that for the next three 10 minutes period, we expect the probability to be the same in the 10 minutes because our lambda is fixed. So it will be three, the number of periods times a fixed probability since the, pro, the lambda is not changing. Since our lambda is equal to two, it's not changing. In the first 10 minutes, we expect our lambda to be two. In the next 10 minutes, our lambda to be two. So nothing is going to change here. So it will be, what is the probability of getting four? multiplied by three. So the probability of getting four is actually e to the minus two times two to the four over four factorial, but we are going to multiply that by, by three to get our probability as this one. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. What we've covered now is how to apply the Poisson distribution. Basically, what you need to know is that what are the conditions for using the Poisson? That is very, very important. So you are supposed to be given the average occurrence of an event in a specified time period. And that average occurrence is what we refer to as lambda. And I want you to see that lambda is directly proportional to time. So if lambda is equal to, say, t in, a, in an hour, what is the lambda 
in a week so we just proportionate our time so lambda is proportional to t and so we adjust our lambda accordingly depending on depending on how time has been adjusted for for the given question thank you very much and enjoy Glory, yeah, yeah. Glory, yeah.